Hey y'all, it's Valerie here at Pisces Mountain Farm. It's a very bright, warm spring day and also very windy as you can see. Um, there's a lot been going on around here and some of it I filmed and some of it I haven't because, well, sometimes you just gotta go out and get some work done. So here lately I've been struggling with knowing what I should be doing at this point in my life. I just feel a little bit lost and like I don't know where I'm going. And so what I've been doing honestly is just keep going. Like I know I've got plants to plant so I just plant them. I know that I've got seedlings to take care of, so I just take care of them, but I just feel kind of lost in all of it lately. Um, I used to have such a clear vision of where I wanted to go and what I wanted to be doing, and now it seems like no matter which direction I head, there are roadblocks or things that just keep holding me up and I'm not sure if I should look at them as like okay these are the struggles I need to overcome that are going to push me to the next level or is this a sign that I'm headed in the wrong direction and that's what I'm struggling with is the not knowing like usually I try to just intuit my way through and I mean I do of course use facts and knowledge and all that along with feelings it's not all feelings I do use some logic and some some science but when it comes to where I'm headed and what path I need to go down I kind of just you know use my intuition on that and here lately it's like I can't tell if these things that are happening are like the roadblocks that are put in your path to push you to the next level and to make you better or to take you higher than you thought you could go or are they the kind of things it's like stop turn around wrong direction change lanes do not enter and go no further I don't know if any of y'all ever struggle with that but I feel like I spend a lot of time just in introspection because I do have a lot of time to myself so that introspection can sometimes drive you crazy and sometimes you can be too introspective and so whenever I'm feeling like that, it's like I feel lost and I don't know what I should be doing or where I should be going. So what I do is I just keep going basically and hopefully it appears to me. And if not, at least I'll have my veggies in the ground, right? So with all that being said, um, I'm going to show you some of the things that I've been working on. Some of the things that are yet to be done. I guess it'll be a mini farm tour. And I've got some astilbes that I need to get in the ground. So what I think I'm going to do is go out here and put the astilbes in the ground. And then kind of do a mini farm tour. Now you may see this area and think, wow, it's really sunny and you've got hellebores out there. And you're going to plant your astilbes out there. Well, the reason it's really sunny out here is because the canopy hasn't grown in for the summer yet. So whenever the canopy's grown in back here they get morning sun afternoon dapple and evening shade and then a little bit during the evening they will get a slight dapple in some spots but as you can see the hellebores love it um i've got these little baby ones that are just started spread throughout here look here's an example of them so those ones are babies and i don't know what color they are i don't know what color they are because they were sold as a mix. And so along this area, oh, I don't want to fall. So what I want to do is along this area here is just dapple the astilbes through. Okay, I've got these bare root astilbes and I have 11 of them here. And when I got them, they were labeled. Um, they were, they had their names on them. I took the labels off because I just want them to be random. 
I want to go ahead and just read off the types that I've got. I've got Chocolate Shogun, and I will pop pictures on the screen of what these look like. Chocolate Shogun, Visions in Pink, Visions in Red, Visions in White, Visions, Amethyst, Purple Lance, A Still Be Maggie Day, Bridal, Ostrich Plume, and Peach Blossom. That's just my inventory sheet. So, I guess I'm going to go through and bury these and then kind of show you a few of the things I've been working on. would show you the after but there's really not much to see here right now so this is what was left behind when we pulled up our uh, poor man silage tarp it's pretty much ready to go I'm not gonna lie it would probably be a little more dead if the wind hadn't blown it up at the end because I didn't go resecure them but it just killed everything down enough for the most part that if I wanted to seed this with wildflowers or whatever, I could just go pick up the stones and seed it. And I may or may not just do that. All right, I'm up here in this top bed, and I'm going to take the area where I pulled off my poor man's, where I pulled off my poor, man, poor man's silage tarp. I'm going to put this bag of wildflower seeds that I bought. I always check the back to make sure that there are no morning glories in the mix and this one doesn't have any. I ended up using all the wildflower seed on that spot. The whole bag. I covered it pretty heavily. The name of this rose I'm going to be planting is Climbing Orchid Masterpiece. That's what the picture looks like, and it's a climbing rose. I like to do all my planting either when it is raining or when it's going to rain. I don't know if you can see this. That's what I've been trying to dig out. And today I'm doing some onion and potato planting. I started this project the other day, but I didn't quite get done, so I decided and try to finish up my onions and I've got some true potato seed that I started inside and they've been sitting on my porch hardening off so I would like to get those in the ground today and I guess while we're talking about it <clears throat> so there's my tray of potato seeds I need to get planted but in amongst them I found this and it looks like a tomato to me However, it doesn't smell like a tomato, so I guess what I'm wondering is, can there be tomato-leafed potatoes just like there are potato-leafed tomatoes? Does anyone out there know? Anyways, I've isolated it in this little pot here. I'm going to grow it out separate and see if it truly is a potato or a tomato.
Now I'm going to start my mini garden tour. There's not a whole lot to see, but I'll kind of just explain it as I go. We're going to start here beside my house, and I've sprinkled some things in here, like some cabbages. I've got some peas on this tower here. Pick this up. We moved some sedum that was planted here, and I put some stock in their place. They're not stock status. Like I said, I've got broccolis and um, snapdragons and a bunch of stuff there. You can see some peas coming up. Okay, these are the lettuces I planted. They're actually starting to put a little bit of size to them. And over here on this bed on the front, that right there is some um, rapini broccoli. And then I've got some sweet peas that are on the back that are kind of struggling, but they look like they're pulling out of it. But in all fairness, I will say in this bed right here, I planted a bunch of cabbages. And they survived 11 degrees. Well, you know what finally killed them off? rain at 35 degrees it could not handle getting rained on at 35 degrees and so some of these little things like this and like this those are the cabbages but my broccolis seem to have survived my sweet peas some of them don't look great but they're coming out of it and then i just filled in some of the holes with some more status that needed to be planted out over here i have some the sugar magnolia tendril peas they're doing well um some charred status okay i planted some more status just in these areas this right here is the frame well the deck we're building for my greenhouse um we got right here and we had to stop so we've been just waiting on the weather to be nice at the same time that my husband is off work to help me. So we're going to go down to this bottom field. Still need to put mulch down. But over here in this part of the bed, and it's in shade right now, but it won't be. It doesn't get shade most of the day. Most of the day it gets sun is what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I'm tripping over my words, but these are all true potato seeds like they were from actual seeds they weren't like seed potatoes and so I filled up this whole bed with them so what I'm going to come do next is of course mulch around this and all of these right here I don't know if you can see them all but these are all onions I have onions all the way in this middle section and even some over against there, this little area here, there's some more onions. Now, over here, I have celery. Oh, here it is, celery coming back. This bed needs weeded. I'm trying to give it a second to see what's going to volunteer and what's going to, you know, come back up and what needs to be just weeded out. See more of my onions. Okay. Down here amongst the violets, I have some. Oh, let's see if you can see them. I can't see them. Some Iceland pop. My shadow's in the way. Can you see that through my shadow? I have some Iceland poppies planted here. We will see how they do because I transplanted them. And everything I've read said they don't like to be transplanted. So down here I planted more lettuce, some stock. I've got a nice healthy row of peas coming up. Honestly, it looks like this stuff needs to be fertilized. So at least this, well, honestly, this could have been the fact that when I put them out, they needed fertilized because this growth in the middle is pretty green. Um, so I think those are just sugar snap peas. There's more plants in through here, like there's some lettuce. 
I have some more peas coming up back here and the last thing I guess I will show you see more more onions and then in here I've got all this garlic coming back either I didn't get pulled or it dropped bulbs so bubbles bulb ills <laughs> I don't know how to say that a few more garlic that has either volunteered or dropped seed all right guys that was it for my mini garden tour I have some more stuff that I'm working on and have been working on I've been trying to get house stuff done as well as outside stuff so it's been a real juggle with my time and sometimes I just have to let something go I can't do it all so sometimes it's my garden sometimes it's the house I'm trying to juggle both I don't know what I'm going on about I guess just to say that I hope to have more in-depth stuff a more in-depth tour going on later it's been kind of scattered for me lately and I'm trying really hard just to focus and having you guys along with me really helps so just thanks for hanging out and I will see you guys next time.